Summer is coming to a close, and that's obviously sad for a number of reasons, but those sunny days, it's the best time to stock up on vitamin D. So the question is, now what? Well, Dr. Abahe from Johns Hopkins is here to tell us how we can do it. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. Thank you. You said you work in the night shift, and you got a little deficient on the vitamin D. Yeah, for the last couple of weeks, I've been in the hospital working and haven't been getting a whole lot of sunlight, and it really got me thinking about how old, older adults often don't get a lot of sunlight either, and sunlight is very important for vitamin D production in our skin. So how do we know if we're getting enough? Yeah, so it's most of the time you can just assume you're not. For okay. most older adults, about three-fourths of older adults are, are deficient in this vitamin. So you can almost assume that you're not. The best way to know for sure, though, is to go to your doctor and have your vitamin D level checked, and that's how you'll really know. Why is vitamin D so important? What's so great about it? Yeah, so we used to think of vitamin D as mostly about your bones and about osteoporosis, and it's still very important for those two reasons. But recent studies are showing that vitamin D, low vitamin D levels, are associated with heart disease, diabetes, cancer, memory problems and depression, as well as people falling and breaking their bones. So it's really important for all sorts of different chronic diseases that older adults face. So is this the time to get out there and enjoy it? Yeah, so vitamin D comes from the food that you eat and from supplements that we take, but it's also the sunshine vitamin. It comes from the sun. And we often don't get out enough to get that kind of sun because we're often worried about skin cancer and other types of things. So this is a good time to get it as long as you're safe about it. Okay, so when we're talking about foods, what kind of foods? Yeah, so it's really hard to get it from food actually because vitamin D is stored in oil not in water so basically you get it from oily fish like salmon sardines tuna okay. or you get it from like cod liver oil which not a lot of people Does take anymore yeah job. it's not that great <laughs> you can also get it from vitamins uh, fortified like milk and orange juice as well but really even if you eat all of that every day you're still probably not getting the amount that you need now you touched on a little bit about who needing it the most yeah Tell me a little bit more about that and, and why. Why that is. So older adults need it, and especially, so older adults in particular, because their skin can't convert vitamin D to its active form as easily as a younger person. So anyone who's older automatically needs it more. And then people who are darker skinned, again, because they're not getting as much sunlight into the system to try to convert that vitamin D to its active form. And then people who are indoors all the time, so either because you work indoors all the time or because you live in a nursing home or are often not outside much. So, and vitamin D, it can't be produced through the glass. You know, if you get sunshine through a window, that doesn't work. So people who are indoors a lot also need vitamin D. And then anyone who's falling, anyone who's fallen or broken a bone, that person needs vitamin D. Okay. All right. That's good to know. Now, what about, you said that you have a, a good and interesting sort of local equation as yeah. to how we can get vitamin D. So it's not as simple as just going outside and getting the sun. It depends on where you live and what your skin tone is like and then what the altitude is and whether it's a sunny day or not. So I looked up a calculator where you could go outside and figure out how much you actually need for here. So if we were to walk outside right now and stand outside uh, like around this time of year, 10 a.m. right after the show ends, if you're fair skinned you need about 15 minutes exposed just like I am here, face and arms about 15 minutes, more like me more medium skin tone, 25 minutes and if you're dark skinned you need almost 50, 5, 0 minutes. And that's if it's sunny, completely sunny. If it's cloudy you need to almost triple those amounts of time in the sun. So up to two and a half hours if you're dark skinned in Baltimore now this time of year. And of course, we need that. Go do it, especially right now while you can, but wear sunscreen. Well, wear, so if you wear sunscreen, you can't get the vitamin D you need. So what I often recommend is take supplements. There's lots of supplements out there, and you want to take about 1,000 to 3,000 a day okay. of vitamin D. And 15 minutes, good. there's a good chance that it's not going to hurt you. Right. I would recommend that people do it like before the noon hour, just what you do for safe sun practices as well. But really, most people need supplements, so I would recommend that people take those as well. All right, doctor, thanks for coming You're in. Welcome. Always great advice. Jamie, she's the best. And she looks like the sun, doesn't she? She's so bright and sunny. That's my vitamin D. There you go. I know. All right.